So we're talking about extraction today, and most of the time when, when people talk about extraction of minerals, they're talking about liquid um, resources, so oil and gas. And many of you may have seen pictures of gushers, of the early uh, oil wells that, that people hit. And so the, the, you drill down, you'd hit overpressured oil, and it would squirt out of the top of the oil rig. Now, a lot of these early wells, and some of the famous ones were in Pennsylvania, were very, very, very shallow. So you didn't need particularly sophisticated equipment. And so you'll, you'll also go back into these archives, these pictures of, um, of these TP-like structures that had the drill rigs in them, basically just putting a pipe down, hitting these overpressured zones, and of course the oil would squirt out the top, and once it stopped squirting out the top, you pump out the oil that you had. So that's extraction. So you're getting the oil, and then you process it, and people use it to drive their cars and, and whatnot. So that was relatively cheap and easy to do. And the way people recognized where to go drill for oil initially was where it was just seeping out of the ground. And there were places like Baku in the Caucasus in, in, in Asia where it was seeping out of the ground or in Iraq where it was seeping out of the ground. And of course all this shallow oil is very, very easy to produce. Um, you don't have to have very, very strong pumps to get it out. And of course if it's gushing out then you just let it gush out. So the history of extraction is really a story of engineering. And as those easy oil fields, the really shallow ones, were exploited and used up, uh, the oil companies and the exploration companies had to start looking deeper and deeper and in more exotic locations and had to use more sophisticated imagery, um, i.e. seismic uh, profiling, things like that. But just initially, it was just a tube going down to very shallow depths, say 100 meters or so or less, and you'd extract the oil.